Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to manage your PC storage uh, so that you can also be able to delete uh, temporary files and to know the storage space that you have. Before I proceed, guys, remember to subscribe, like and share. Turn on your notification so that you get updates of new videos. I'll take you straight to how to manage your storage on your PC. First, uh, I'll open my PC. So I'll go under the search button that is on the bottom left corner where I'll search storage. Then I'll click enter. Then it will take me to my settings. These are under settings category, but falls under the category of storage. Uh, as you can see, you can see my device or my PC. The, that is the local disk C that is the most primary disk that does the storage of uh, the application, softwares, temporary files. So on the top there, there is a switch that you, you you need to turn on so that it can give you this. This is like a sensor that's always configure the storage whenever you're going low on memory. So make sure you turn it on. Then I'll go down to my local disk C. It has several categories. Then I'll click show more. Then you can see, as you can see, it has the, they are categorized with different categories. Now there is a system and reserve. This is where the system files run. And it needs to have enough space so that the application can run healthy. It has uh, another category, apps and features, temporary files, desktop, other document pictures, and so much, depending on the categorization of your PC. You can see the temporary files are accumulating 6.04 GB. Those are files that maybe you have downloaded, cache, updates, and so on. So I need to go under the temporary guys and remember to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and you can also share. So I'll go under temporary files. I'll go under temporary files. Well, I'll wait for a few seconds for my PC to scan. It's scanning all the categories that falls under the temporary files you can see. So guys, you can see the, the box that are checked. Those are files that you can delete without any harm to the, your PC. Like whenever maybe your PC does a Windows update, it has a backup folder that usually compresses data of the older version of the update. So it's not necessary because the already the, your PC is already updated to the new version. So you can see the checked box, the, like for the Windows update folder, it contains 5.76 GB which is the storage that is not useful at the moment. So I will need to clear all that data. So there is also falls that there is a falls under down of falls under that temporary files, the circle bin, optimized file, thumbnails, uh, and so more on. So I'll check boxes that I want to clear everything. So I also check the recycle bin. I want to empty it so that the storage file can go back to my local DC so that to make sure that my, my PC is performing. So the other small files that are also consuming my storage. I'll scroll down to make sure that they are, I have not left any other folder or file that are, is unchecked. Then you can see also see the updates contain some 824 MB. So I'll go back and then I'll click remove files. I'll give my PC some, some time to clear the files that I've already checked. Now, the files have already been removed. You, you can see that the folders that were previously checked are no longer there. So even the, the storage that was being consumed previously has reduced. I'll give my PC some time to, to update and load the, the storage files. So you can, under the temporary files, it was having a, a 6.04 storage. Currently, it's having a 5.13. You can also see the system reserved has already increased and the app space is already increased. This helps your PC to perform and you are not run raw on memory. So guys, I hope the video has helped you. So you can see already I am confirming that the local disk C, it was having 35 GB left. Now it's having 39.8 GB. So it has already increased by around 5 GB. So guys, I hope the video is of value. Remember to subscribe, like and share. I will see you in our next video.